Well, good afternoon. Today is Sunday, September 10th, and we have lots of birthdays. I have to feel, I have the feeling that our parents were really active in the colder months because there's a lot of birthdays here in September, the ninth month of the year, I may point out. Anyway, today is Carissa, Carissa, sorry, Carissa Phelps. Today's Carissa's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carissa. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Deborah Koss, K O S S. So, Deborah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Deborah. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Mary Beth Lieb. Lieb? Lieb. I think it's Lieb. L E I B. Mary Beth. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary Beth. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Nick's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nick. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. It's also Helen Nagayan. N G U Y A N. N G U Y E N. Or is it Guyanin? Helen, I have this problem every year, don't I? <laughs> but it's your birthday. At least I remembered it, eh? Eh? No, well, it sounds like I'm Canadian now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Helen. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And I only know your channel name. I don't know what your actual name is, unless this is your actual name, because, you know, there's a lot of unusual names out there. But Coffee Bean... <laughs> Today is Coffee Bean's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Coffee Bean. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope all one, two, three, four, five, six of you have a great birthday today. Oh my gosh. Six birthdays in one day. That's a lot. Um, I attempted to read a little bit more of my book last night. I am now on page 47. Yeah, I gotta get a crack a lack and I told you I said as a joke, but I mean it sounds pretty serious to me now. I said as a joke the other day, well I'll never have a problem getting that done before Thursday. Ha ha ha. <laughs> well no, ha ha. I don't know. It's really, really bad. It's really I, I it's not that it's a bad book, it's just not my style of writing of of reading, of of writing, of writers, I guess, or whatever. But I don't think I ever showed you the plant that I got from Sharon, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Zoom. Nope. Nope. I don't know how to zoom in. Anyway, it's a shamrock plant. When I get up, when I'm done, at the very end of the video, I'll get up and show you how exactly. Well, you know what? Don't sign up. Be lazy. Let me get up here. We'll bring you over there and show you. Here it is. See, isn't that pretty? It's like a little handle. And then West Virginia Running Don got me the plate that I have underneath it. Ah, there we go. For when it rains. Not rains, when I water it. For when I water it. Let's get let's get the story straight here, Sandy. But um, Jim's at the, a safety officer at the rifle range at his club today. So he left very, very early. He left about 7.30 this morning because him and his crew go out to breakfast. And then I have my Zoom call this afternoon at four o'clock. Um, still thinking on my decision for the week that's gonna change my 74th year of life. Something that's gonna change my life. Like I said, the house cleaner is gonna definitely change my life, but I'm gonna figure out something. And then uh, just, I know that the one thing I always do every single day is I, I really, when I say my prayers, I always am so grateful for everything I have in my life. Uh, I really couldn't ask for anything more. I really can't. When my birthday or Christmas or something comes around, people ask me what I want. I have everything I need, you know, so it's, it's hard. The older you get, the harder it is to figure out what you want. Um, but... I, you know, I can't even ask for more love because I have so much love in my life. It's just impossible to think that I could have more love in my life granted to me. But you know what? I'll always accept more love. 
and peace and all that good stuff. And I think that if you just every day just think and you're grateful for what you have. I've had a lot of woes this summer as far as financial expenses. I've had so much financial, unexpected financial expenses this year that, uh, you know, I could think, oh, poor me, poor me. But then I'm so grateful that I had the money to be able to handle the problems that I had and that uh, I was in a situation where I had a porch that had to be repaired. I could have been living in a tent on the street, you know, so um, I had a basement that flooded. I could, like I said, once again, I could have had a house that that I didn't know. I don't know if I, I've had like, I was thinking of other things that went wrong this summer. I completely forgot about my water heater exploding while we were on vacation and coming home to the water heater being all blown up and all water all over in the, in the, in the uh, furnace room. So, but through it all, you know, I, I just, I accept it for what it is and just I'm grateful that I'm able to have these problems because some people just don't have these problems. They have more, way more problems than I've ever had to deal with. And so if I can live my life with gratitude and love, I think that I'm living a pretty good life. So I know it's quick and short and to the point, but that's all I really have time to talk to you about today. Um, it's a little chilly. I might, I'm going to sit outside and read, but I'm going to be putting a jacket on because it is 61 degrees. It's like, you know, two weeks ago it was 95. Now it's 61. Um, go figure. Anyway, so if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, and share if you think somebody might like to see it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.